I feel like I'm connected to everything in this world, but at the same time, isolated from myself. I feel I need to understand more about myself, but whenever I have time, I turn on my device, find things to do, watch, or just listen to music. I always find a reason to keep myself occupied, and there's no silent moment. The logic is, of course, seductive. Why be alone when I never have to? Never being alone is not the same as never feeling alone. Worse yet, the less comfortable we are with solitude, the more likely it is that we don't know ourselves. And then we will spend even more time avoiding it to focus elsewhere. In the process, we become addicted to the same technologies that were meant to set us free. But who can I blame when I'm the one who made this choice? One day, I've had enough. Enough of being plugged in. I knew I had to be alone to face my thoughts without anything to distract me. All sorts of thoughts start to arise. All kinds of fears, doubts about life, about the future, surface. Normally, before feeling all these emotions, my habit has already got the phone out to take my mind off these thoughts. I just want to have my phone and music with me. I don't want to face boredom. It's hard. It's rough. I can't escape these thoughts. They wrapped around me and they seem so real. Even worse, they become stronger and stronger, like jail bars locking me in. The temptation to take the easy way out is so real. Just because we can use the noise of the virtual world to block out the discomfort of dealing with ourselves, doesn't mean that this discomfort goes away. It's like I go through more pain to avoid the pain of being alone or facing my thoughts in the bottom. So I tried deleting my original Instagram, deactivating my Facebook, but the mind finds YouTube to entertain itself with. And I realize it's not the issue with these apps because I easily replace one with another to escape the bottom. The issue is with me. Without knowing ourselves, it's almost impossible to find a healthy way to interact with the world around us. Without taking time to figure it out, we don't have a foundation to build the rest of our lives on. Look at all these people passing me by and I ask myself, are they thinking I'm weird? Why is this guy just sitting there staring into space without a phone? Is he depressed or is he crazy? But I pretend I don't see them and slowly those thoughts are not suffocating me as much anymore. Being alone and connecting inwardly with ourselves is a skill nobody ever teaches us. That's ironic because it's more important than most of the skills we were taught. I really have no idea where I'm going or what I want to find within myself. But I know it's just not right to keep escaping myself. And I definitely know that Mark Zaki, YouTube and what have you want to keep our attention on their platforms as long as possible. But the longer I'm connected virtually, the more empty and isolated I feel. Almost anything else that controls our life in an unhealthy way finds its root in the realization that we dread the moments of doing nothing. We can't imagine just sitting here rather than doing, watching or listening to something. And therefore we look for entertainment. We seek company. And if those fail, we chase even higher highs. All thoughts are still flooding my mind now, but there's nothing to distract me out here. I look at all these trees, they're just there. I look at the sky, it is just there. They're not avoiding anything. So I thought, why can't I just be here as well? Can I see the thoughts and feelings just as they are? Don't avoid them, don't desire them. Just be right here and accept them just as they are. Good or bad, horny or monkey, FOMO or YOLO. Almost everybody thinks of themselves as self-aware. They think they know how they feel, what they want and what their problems are. But the truth is that very few people really do. And those that do will be the first to tell us how fickle self-awareness is and how much alone time it takes to get there. In today's world, people can go about their whole lives without truly digging beyond the surface level mask they wear. And in fact, many do. We are increasingly out of touch with who we are and that's a problem. The idea of living in a modern society and not using technology seems almost impossible. But maybe I have a choice of when to use it and what do I use it for. I'm not sure if I have the discipline to carry this out, but I'll try building it one day at a time.
Maybe it's about allocating certain time to give ourselves space to think and choosing to unplug a few times a week to talk to ourselves, to just be with our thoughts and feelings. The oldest common philosophical and religious wisdom in the world has one piece of advice for us and that is to know yourself. There are a lot of ingredients for fulfilling life but it's not hard to see why this stands out. Solitude may not be the solution to everything but it certainly is a start. There's a long road ahead of us and the struggle won't get any easier than today. But since my phone is on airplane mode and there's no data connection to distract myself, let me just take a photo of the sunset. The real solution is to find a way to cultivate our ability to be alone while supporting our yearning to be a part of a larger group, whether that be family, friends or community. And the real lesson is this, we have to beat loneliness by ourselves, but we only really find lasting fulfillment in our relationships with others.